are you today? It's Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. As you guys can see by the title of this video, this is going to be my June empties. This is the rescued trash. <laughs> if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you guys will, um, if you do follow me on Instagram, I should say, you guys will have known that um, I was working late one night and my mom came to feed the dogs and she was like, oh, I saw this big bag of trash in the restroom and I don't know why you don't throw your trash away. She, I got scolded for having that bag of trash, but they were my empties <laughs> and my mom threw them away. Luckily, she threw them away in the recycling bin. So when I got home, well, it wasn't until the next day, I had to go in there and dig them out <laughs> because that bag was full of stuff, guys. I got as much as I could. I think I got it all. I don't know, but... I mean, I have it in this book outlet bag, I mean box. Anyway, this is my rescue trash and I'm just gonna share with you guys. I'm gonna start with some um, bath stuff. I have two um, bath salts. I have one from Bath & Body Works. This is from the Stress Relief line in the Eucalyptus Spearmint scent. This is my favorite, favorite scent in the whole world. Well, in the whole store, I should say. Um, I love these salts. They're kind of like, like a big, chunks of salts um, as opposed to this one this one's a lot finer but i'll talk about that one right now um i love love using these um whenever they are on sale at bath and body works i try to stock up on these i haven't purchased anything i know the the semi-annual sales going on right now but i have a lot of bath stuff right now that i can't justify purchasing anymore so i'm trying to be good and i only purchased well semi purchased stuff that i needed um so yes but this one i will always repurchase and i hope they never get rid of the scent because that's gonna be one sad day if that happens and then this over here this is the village naturals therapy aches and pains muscle relief this is a concentrated mineral bath soak so you get tons and tons of baths with this just with this one container uh this smells like vicks vapor up because it has menthol Ooh. <coughs> if you sniff too hard you can feel it like going down to your through your like trachea and through your bronchioles and opening up everything in your lungs. Um, this is really great. I use this mainly for when I work out. It prevents me from being sore the next day. I would continue to repurchase them um, many, many times in the future. And I have another bath thing here. This is a Dr. Teal's foaming bath. This is in the eucalyptus spearmint. This is the only scent that I buy. Uh, in the bath form or in the Dr. Teal's bath salts. I know they have like different scents, but I'm all about the eucalyptus spearmint scent. Um, I really enjoy it and I would continue to purchase this again. It creates really nice bubbles and it really does relax um, my mind and body. A lot of bath thing. I've been very clean this month. <laughs> I have this uh, Aroma Floria Aromatherapy. This is a salt glow body scrub with eucalyptus and mineral sea salts. Uh, there we go with the eucalyptus. I really, I really enjoy this. This I bought at Marshalls and this is 100% vegan, no animal testing, sulfate free, phthalate free, paraben free, and biodegradable. So if you guys are into um, that whole organic, natural, vegan cruelty free thing um you guys i think you guys should keep out keep an eye out for this brand aroma floria this is the only item that i've used from them before but it smelled really great and it was really nice on my body i liked it and if i saw it at marshall's again i would repurchase it then i used up a shampoo this is the jason or jason how do you say it it has a little accent marks on top of the vowel so i don't know how you say that but this is the long and strong shampoo with jojoba, uh, grapefruit, vitamin B5, and wheat protein for healthy hair growth. Um, and I really did notice that my hair like, had a growth spurt when I started using this. Because um, usually, you know, shampoo that claims to be to help your hair grow faster and stuff, to me, I've never really noticed a difference. But with this one, I did. And a lot of people were telling me, wow, your hair is super long. It got long really fast. Um, so I went to Marshall's the other day and I saw another bottle because I got it at Marshall's and so I purchased it. Uh, this also has uh, no parabens, sulfates, petroleum, artificial colors or phthalates and it has a little bunny here but it's not your regular bunny. 
It's like a running bunny. So I don't know if that means it's cruelty free. The scent though, I will admit I had to get used to it because it's kind of like a very like herbally natural scent. But after a few uses about of this, it kind of has like a banana scent to it too. <laughs> I don't know if, if uh, cause now I'm, now I'm smelling it now that I have it here. Um, it kind of smells like bananas, but I don't think it has bananas. So, but I would recommend it. I really do think that it helps with hair growth. Then I have a feminine wash. This is the Summer's Eve Delicate Blossom Cleansing Wash. I like this okay, but I have to say I prefer Vagisil. I think Vagisil is less scented than this one. Um, they're both pH balanced, dermatologist and gynecologist tested and approved, but I just, I'd rather use the other one, though I'd rather purchase this one because when you buy Vagisil, people look at you like you're dirty. Like, if you guys use it, you guys, I feel like I'm being judged <laughs> when I buy Vagisil. I don't know why, maybe be, maybe it's because of the name, but it's like, no, I'm not dirty. I am clean and fresh. But anyway, I like this. I would continue to use it, but only if like the store was out of the other ones. Then I have two hand soaps. I have this, they're both from Bath & Body Works in the Gentle Foaming Hand Soap formula. One is in the Sparkling Seas. This has... Water Lily, Morning Dew, and Coral Musk. I really enjoyed this one. This one, I think was from the spring, from this spring, or last spring, I can't remember, but it was from a spring collection. And then a classic Kitchen Lemon. This was in the kitchen. This is just a blend of Zesty Lemon, Sparkling Citrus, and Italian Bergamot. So really enjoyed both scents, and I would continue to repurchase. I have a cleanser here from Murad. This is a clarifying cleanser. Reduces 99.9% .9 of irritating surface bacteria in less than one minute. Treats and prevents acne breakouts. I use this mainly for my chest and for my chest, <laughs> for my chest and my back, uh, because when it starts getting really hot here, I guess the sweat starts clogging my pores. I'm sorry if that is disgusting, but it happens and this really helps to keep my, my skin um, on my body um, breakout free and then I have this Ulla Henriksen walnut scrub uh, This I use for my face. It's a facial scrub. I really enjoy this one. It smells really good. Oh, I have that little It's It's on the kind of like more abrasive side. So if you have sensitive skin, you're not gonna like this I tend to like uh, scrubs that are on the more abrasive side just because I'm um, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just like that. And this um, does the job. It leaves my skin very soft, very smooth afterwards. And I actually have a full size of this. So I'm not about to run out anytime soon, but I would consider purchasing this if I did uh, run out in the future. I have one body lotion here. And I think, I think this is the only one I used. This is the Sea Island Cotton from Bath & Body. Ooh. From Bath and Body Works, this is in the Shea Ultra Shea Body Cream. Um, as you guys can see, I squeezed as much as I could out of this baby, and nothing comes out anymore. So, oh, they, I'm such a liar! Look, <laughs> I liked I like how this smells, and I really do how like how it smells. It has like a very like neutral, clean scent. It smells like how a lotion, an unscented lotion, should smell. Does that make sense? Like. It's clean and fresh and it's not offensive. It's not overly flowery or anything like that. I just, I really, really enjoy that scent. I have two contact solutions, one from Clear Care, one of my favorite contact solution ever. It's super expensive, but I don't care. It extends my lenses. I can use them for up to two months and they feel like I just used a new pair. This is amazing. And then this is the Bochon Long Renew. And this I use because when you wet your lenses with this, you can't use them for up to six hours. So if I need to just like rinse or cleanse off my lens real quick, I have to use a regular saline solution. And that's why I have this one. I have another cleanser here, African Red Tea Foaming Cleanser. Really enjoyed this one. This is a travel size. I liked it. It worked okay. Um, nothing magical. It's Clean my face, it did the job. And I have a deodorant. This is the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. I bought this during the Nordstrom anniversary sale last year. It was a three pack. It's not my favorite. I, I don't like the scent. Uh, I actually used up two. This is the second one and the third one I gave to my mom 
um, and she used it up so uh, I don't like this I don't think I would ever repurchase that again ever then I have oh I missed this, this is a conditioning treatment or just a conditioner from when you dye your hair uh, this is from L'Oreal the excellence cream that's the kind of hair dye that I use to dye my hair it's the conditioner that comes I really like how these con how those conditioners work because it leaves your hair very smooth and silky but I feel like it that conditioner has that hair dye smell so I feel like like I smell like I just dyed my hair when I use that conditioner you know what I mean maybe they should change the scent of their conditioners then I have this downy wrinkle releaser plus this is a travel size I have like had two of these and I don't need two one will suffice and I have a big bottle that I um, empty into the smaller one but like I said I don't need to have two of these so just the one will do so I'm tossing away this one and then this one is the Tony and Guy uh, heat protecting mist I bought this like like five years ago and I just got to using it uh, Walgreens was having a promotion on Tony and Guy uh, buy two get one free and I didn't know what else to get so I picked up this guy it worked fine but I really want to go back to the Tresemme heat protectant. I don't even know if they still make that anymore. But right now I have one from Kenra that I got. I can't remember how I got a hold of that. But I have the one from Kenra. And that's the one I'm working on. So um, this one worked okay. I did the job. I don't have any split in. So <laughs> apparently it worked. Then I have two hair thingies. This is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Product. As you guys can see, this is a deluxe size sample. I really love this. And I didn't realize how expensive it was. So I was at Nordstrom's Rack and I think I signed for like $20, $25. And I was like, oh my God, is that the discounted price? And then when I went online that it's like $40, I was like, holy cow. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that expensive. This smells like the Ralph Lauren Blue. The one that everybody in high school, when I was in high school, everybody wore that. Um, that's what this reminds me of and this one right here is from OGX. It's the Kukui oil anti-freeze hydrating oil I got this in a like It was a kit from Ulta with different hair products and I bought and I got this also like four years ago And finally I used it up and I really enjoyed it. I even to the point where I am the little The pump wouldn't pump it out anymore so I opened it and I dumped it into my hands and <laughs> I got the last bit out of this. Um, I don't even know if this is available right now, but if it is, I think I would purchase it again. I really did enjoy it. It didn't leave my hair greasy or anything or dirty looking um, and it really did tame my frizz. I have a mask here from Peter Thomas Roth. This is a Blue Marine Algae Intense Hydrating Mask. This is a mini. The Blue, the, the gel here this is a gel mask the gel was light blue and it was really moisturizing I really did enjoy it I got about three uses out of this little guy then I have this Sunday Riley good jeans all-in-one lactic acid treatment I've used one of these before and I didn't really care for it it's got a funky scent that I don't like and I'm not the type to be like picky about scented items but this one I didn't like so I don't think I would buy this in the full size because I know Sunday, Sunday Riley is expensive and I didn't enjoy it that much. Then I have two little tubs here. This is the Bliss Steep Clean Mattifying Toner Pads. I've spoken of these a lot on my channel. Um, I pick them up on Marshalls anytime I see them. That's the only place I buy them because they always have them there. And these are really good for keeping my skin clear, especially when I have a breakout. I only use them really when I do have breakouts because um, I love them so much and I don't want to run out of them <laughs> but when I do have a breakout I do use these and I, I really feel like it dries um, the breakouts really fast and it helps with uh, not leaving um, like scars on my face so really enjoy these and then these are from True Beauty I can't even read this this is the lemon eye mask um, that's what this little container looks like and then on the inside it had like the little cover to prevent them from drying out and then you, it came with like this little like tweezers so you could pick the pads and then put them on your eye it was a nice concept I didn't notice that it did anything and I used the whole thing uh, and you were supposed to keep these in the fridge 
Uh, so it did more of a like deep puffing or they were supposed to be more like deep puffing effect because you have to keep them in the freezer but I didn't notice anything that it did anything really so it was just like an added step for my skincare so I wouldn't repurchase these or recommend them I have this little deluxe size sample deluxe, this travel size that the dentist gives you um, this is the Crest Pro Health Advanced this is my favorite mouthwash in the entire world I love it I think I've spoken about my love for it in this channel many times. And then I have a uh, travel size also of the Crest Pro Health. This worked okay. It's toothpaste. And then I have a mini of the Oral-B Glide Pro Health Dental Floss. So those three things came in the little goodie bag that the dentist gives you every, uh, when you go for your you know, six month checkup. And then in addition to that, I finished my own dental floss. Uh, this is my favorite floss. This is the only kind that I use at work. I have one from Reach and I hate it. <laughs> I hate using that one, but it, you know, it helps when I need it. So this one is done. Then for home fragrance, I have this Wallflower Duo from Bath & Body Works. This is the White Citrus. Uh, this is actually what I have plugged in right now in my house. And I really like it. It smells really nice, really fresh. And it keeps my house from smelling like, you know, dogs live in it. And then this is a random one. I'm throwing away my Mac wa wax melting thing. Uh, there's actually wax in here. Uh, but this broke. I was so sad because I love this and it matches my little plant right there. Uh, but this guy, the little thing here broke. So this is what keep turns it on and off. And the chunk that was here, I guess, it needs to touch this like brass thing to make it turn on so it doesn't turn on anymore. Um, so I'm very sad. There's no way to fix this. I'm gonna have to toss this away. <laughs> very, very sad. This is my regular makeup empties bag that I have forgotten to talk about with you guys for the last like three months. So this one is from Benefit. It's the The Real Mascara. I like it okay. I don't think it's as great as everybody says it is. Sorry, it was like something flying. And then this is a Too Faced Better Than Six Mascara. I know I love this mascara. And then this one is from Bobbi Brown. This came in a kit that I bought that came with like an eyeliner and an eyeshadow stick and all that stuff. This one wasn't my favorite because it was kind of um, a dry formula. That's what the brush looks like. Not pretty generic, nothing exciting. Um, but within like two weeks, it started getting really, really clumpy. And then maybe not even, maybe about three weeks, it was just completely dried out. So I didn't like it. I tried using it, layering, layering it with other mascaras, with an eyelash primer, and I just n never got it to work because I tend to like more wet formulas as opposed to drier formulas, but this one, no, didn't like it. Then I used up my clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is just a brow gel for your brushes. Oh my God. This is just a brow gel for your brows. <laughs> and I used up a lip balm. This is the By Style Essentials lip balm. And as you guys can see, that is like the hard plastic from the little container. And that is it. I kind of dug out a little bit and I just wasn't a big fan of the scent because it's a sweet, van sweet vanilla. And then if you guys have seen my uh, project polish, you guys will have known that I used to have two polishes. This green one from Sephora Formula X and this orange one from the house brand Sephora. It just says Sephora. So it's not like a, like a collaboration with another brand. So I used up these two minis and I will leave it linked up here, my project polish in case you guys are interested. And then I used up this Pro Advanced Fluoride Nail Strengthener. I really enjoyed this one. I got this in a new beauty test tube back when I used to subscribe to that. And I finally used it up. I There's nothing left here. I made sure that I used everything out of this one. This wasn't like a gel, like a nail polish. This was liquid. So it was very easy to like just like tip the bottle this way and wet the... The brush so I can get it on my nails so I'm sure I can buy it online but who knows how expensive it might be and then I have a ton and I mean a ton of little perfume samples I'm just gonna run through them really quickly 
This is the Versace Bright Crystal. I really enjoyed this one. And I've seen it at Nordstrom's, uh, Nordstrom Rack. So maybe I'll buy it there. <laughs> and then this is the Tory Burch Jolie Fleur Ver Verte. It's the green one. Smells okay. Uh, and then Tory Burch Jolie Fleur the blue. I uh, didn't really care for that one. I have two roses de Chloe. I it really like hurts me that there's that much. Can you guys see how much it's still in there? But the little stupid sprayer won't spray it out. So I feel like I'm wasting, but I can't get to it. I really enjoy that perfume. I really like it. And then I have this cologne from YSL and I used it. I didn't care. <laughs> then I have Love Story from Chloe. It seems like that's the pattern with the Chloe samples. I can't, you can't really get to the product on the bottom. Then I have this one from Atelier Cologne. This is the Vanille Intense. This is, was a very nice vanilla scent. Nothing very sweet. Then Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet from Dior. Then I have two from Marc Jacobs. One is in the Mod Noir. And then Decadence, didn't like both of them. I would never go out of my way to purchase those. And even if I saw them as samples, I would skip them. I did not like how they smelled. And then this one, oh my God, I love this one. This is the, oh, and it's in French. It's from Hermes. And it's the Le Jardin de Monsieur Lee. <laughs> I'll make sure I have it, I'll have it here so you guys know what I'm talking about. But it's from Hermes. And, Oh my God, it smells, I've never smelled anything like this. This is beautiful. I, I want the full size like yesterday. It's really, really good. Really, really enjoyed it. I think that's my favorite scent out of all the ones that I've mentioned. And then last but not least, I'm gonna talk about two food items. I don't really talk about like food empties on my channel, but I wanted to talk about these two. You guys know that there's a project pan called Drop 10 Before Summer. I was supposed to lose 10 pounds by then, but I just gave up. But recently, in the last couple of weeks, I've been really into like working out a little late on the project, but it's never too late to start, I think. Uh, but I had these from way before, so I haven't finished these in two weeks. Like they were already started. Let me tell you guys a little story. I had mentioned that back in February, I did, I ran a half marathon in New Orleans and I pretty much did it without any kind of training. Um, mainly because I was relying on the elevation up here where, where I live we're like four or five thousand feet um, in New Orleans it's actually below sea level so I kind of trained for that but not really because I knew that the elevation was gonna be so low I was gonna have no trouble and I was able to do it but my body was really really hurting the next day like I couldn't even move so <laughs> I am running a 10k uh, in October and then another 10k in November. I already registered for my races So I, I I'm like I really need to start like Really training properly the whole point of this story was that I was already using these <laughs> At the beginning of the year, but then I stopped but then um, I finished them this month because I started training like I said and this is the Misfit delight. This is a women's protein sh shake in the chocolate delight um, flavor. This has 16 grams of protein, 90 calories, and it's gluten-free. And I got this because Kendra from It's Kendra or Kendra Atkins, um, she had mentioned one of, the, she had mentioned this in one of her videos and I didn't like it. Maybe it's because I didn't like the chocolate, um, like the chocolate flavor. Maybe if I tried the vanilla, it would I would like it, but I did not enjoy this one. This one was kind of powdery to me. Um, I'm very picky with protein powders, uh, but I didn't like this. I finished it because I this was expensive. I didn't want to just, you know, toss it out, but I would never buy this again, like ever. This one, however, is my favorite protein, and I'm so sad that I can no longer buy it where I used to. Uh, this is a 22 days nutrition. This is a plant-based protein. It's vegan, gluten-free, non-GMO, soy-free, and dairy-free, and it's in the flavor vanilla. So I used to buy this at Marshall's. Um, I paid 
like $12 for this huge container uh, and I bought it maybe like five six times and this last time when I because I uh, I completely used it up as you guys can see I just it's all gone uh, I went to buy it and they didn't have it anymore and I remember one time when I was there I remember seeing them on clearance um, but sometimes they put things on clearance and then they bring them back so I, w I didn't think of picking it up but now I wish that I had uh, this doesn't taste powdery uh, with almond milk it tastes really sweet it just tastes like like this is a very non-protein tasting vanilla like and like I said it's organic it's plant-based and it doesn't have any creatine which is what I always look for in the ingredients um, so I'm very sad that that protein's gone uh, the one that I purchased right now is good it's also plant-based um, but it's not as good as that, one, as that one I did look up online and you can buy it online but it's super expensive I didn't realize how expensive it was um, so I'm just gonna try to hopefully they'll bring it back around to Marshall's but we'll see anyway that was my super long empties video for the month of June I hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next video bye